Welcome to redstone class. Let's do homework answers. So the challenge was for you to be able to replicate this where you have a block gap between your door and to only do this with redstone dust. Harder than it looks on first appearance. So if I have a door like this and I want to put a pressure plate a block away on either side, how would I hook that up? So, the first thing you're going to want to do is dig out. Looks like we've got some water down here, so that's going to be removed. This is something you have to do in real life all the time. Okay, so let's dig this out. So we've got this under here. No. So we're going to have the redstone dust right here. We're going to have redstone dust right here. What you can do is you can lead it into the block that the door is on. See? That's all you've got to do. Lead it into the block that the door is on. See, now, you go to cover it up, and you might spot a problem. The problem is this right here would cut it off. So what you've got to do is you've got to put a transparent block there. And so I almost kind of cheated, and this is something I wanted to see if you could figure out on your own, is that if you use a slab, use an oak slab like that, you can't tell. So you can go around like this. Did I break then? Strange. So that's all there is to it. So you, what you do you lead it into the block un underneath the redstone door, and if you understand redstone principles, you'll understand why that works. What you're doing is you're powering the block underneath, and you would need to use a clear. And so that's two things you should have learned from the redstone video. That's it.